Hello traders everywhere, Jeremy Lutz coming to you from the digital studios of Market Club. And the S&P 500 hit a record intraday high today of 2,495.69, taking aim at the 2,500 level, which will be a significant record. And as you can see yesterday, we had this big move gain of over 1%, which triggered our green weekly trade triangle at 2,480.38 that we've been waiting for. Pushing the chart now to score to a plus 100, uh, indicating that a long position is in order for the S&P 500. And what caused this move on Monday? It was a couple things, I think. One, uh, Irma, who was a huge catastrophic hurricane that barreled through the Caribbean, made landfall in Florida, uh, as weakened to a tropical depression, and concerns about the severity of its financial impact of greatly fallen as damage wasn't as widespread as they most people had thought or had been going on the second thing was that uh, north korea didn't test their second nuclear bomb over the weekend um, that decision came on the heels of a successful test of a hydrogen bomb on september 3rd but the u.n security council unanimously voted to cap north korea's crude oil imports and ban its textile imports i think the market had a positive reaction to those two things on monday so key level to watch for the s p 500 will be 2417.35 a move below that level would issue a red weekly trade trial indicating a move to a sidelines position dow jones of course what you can see had another uh over 1% move yesterday, pushing the chart analysis score to plus 100, triggering a green weekly trade triangle that we've been waiting for. Key level to watch for the Dow will be 21,634. A move below that level would issue a red weekly trade trial, indicating a move to a sidelines position. Uh, NASDAQ again had over a 1% gain yesterday, even though the trade triangle was already green. It did push it into a uh, a couple week high here of 6,454 this morning, backing down, currently trading at 6,438.16 with a chart analysis score of plus 100. Key level to watch would be 6,177.19. A move below that level would issue a red weekly trade chart indicating a move to a sidelines position. Dollar index. Two straight days of gains uh, yesterday, up uh, about four tenths of a percent today. However, it's down uh, relatively unchanged on the day, currently trading at 91.82 after triggering a new green daily trade triangle today. However, our chart analysis score over here is negative 85 with a red monthly and a red weekly trade triangle indicating that the stalling downtrend is still in play key level to watch for dollar index as has been is 93.55 a move above that level would issue a green weekly trade trial indicating a move to a sidelines position crude oil is making a little bit of a bounce i think some of that's partly on news on the uh, sanctions against north korea currently trading at 48.36 up about six tenths of a percent on the day however the chart analysis score is still a plus 55 indicating that a short-term uh, sidelines trend is in place with a green weekly and a red daily trade trial. Uh, key level to watch for crude oil will be 48.44. A move above that level, which would actually be the high today. So watch whatever. It's either 48.44 if that holds true or the high today will be your key level to watch tomorrow for crude oil to get above to issue a green mm -hmm. daily trade trial indicating a move back to a long position. And we'll wrap it up with gold currently trading at 1,331, down uh, three tenths of a percent today after being down almost half a percent yesterday. Currently charting out score plus 85, indicating that the long term trend is still up for gold. However, the short term trend is in a sidelines position with that red daily trade triangle that triggered yesterday. Key level to watch for gold will be 1,344.60. A move above that level would issue a new green daily trade trend indicating a move back to a long position in gold. With that, every success. Have a great trading day, and I will talk to you soon.